Cracking IELTS is a big problem for many of you out there. If you want to immigrate to Canada or Australia, either as a permanent resident or as a student, getting your desired bands in IELTS is a roadblock. We also know that getting seven bands in IELTS in the first attempt itself is very difficult and giving multiple attempts obviously adds up to your frustration. So are there any alternatives to IELTS? We'll talk exactly about that in this video. If you think that you can immigrate to Canada or Australia without appearing for any language proficiency test, unfortunately that's not possible. What is possible is that you can skip the IELTS if you're not feeling comfortable with its pattern, if you don't get good score with it, and you can try the alternatives for IELTS. Getting a good score in IELTS is very important whether you want to immigrate to Canada, whether you want to immigrate to Australia, whether you want to immigrate as a permanent resident or as a student. Now, many people complain that when they're giving IELTS, Sometimes they are being stopped at 6.5 bands in the first attempt. I made a video about it. It's very concerning, but there's nothing much that we can do about it. What we can do is practice and maybe choose an alternative for IELTS. So are there any alternatives for IELTS if we want to migrate to Canada uh, as a permanent resident or student? So let's start this discussion with those people who want to immigrate to Canada as a permanent resident. Then we'll talk to those people who want to immigrate to Canada as a student and then also to all those people who want to immigrate to Australia. So if you want to immigrate to Canada as a permanent resident in that case, you might be aware that there are a couple of other options available. Actually, there are French options available. If you're not comfortable with French, obviously, I know many of you won't be avail uh, comfortable with French. In that case, there's one more option available that is CELPIP. This CELPIP test is officially designated for permanent residence applications by IRCC. If you go onto the website, you can check that the CELPIP general, which is for the permanent residency, is actually available for a few countries like Canada, US, China, India, Philippines and UAE. In Canada, it is available in all the provinces. In US, it is available for a few of the provinces listed down here. And in India, it is now available in three different states. So it is now available in Chandigarh. It is available in the city of Ahmedabad, the capital of Gujarat, and then it is also available in New Delhi. So if you're interested to know more about this CELPIP test, there is a separate video about CELPIP versus IELTS, the comparison between the two, which is easier and which is better. If you want to know more about it, you can check out this video. I'll provide the link to this video in the description box below. Okay, before we talk about international students and all those people who want to immigrate to Australia, let me introduce to you a brand new product named as Pearson Classroom. It is a digital solution for all high stakes English exams and it supports everyone in the institutes, including teachers, the students and the administrators. Pearson Classroom will radically improve how teachers teach and students learn. It covers PTE Academic, IELTS Academic, IELTS General, OET for nurses or doctors on a single platform. Pearson Classroom is a teacher driven student success platform so it provides loads of ready-made lesson plans for teachers that include skill building, methods, practice and much more. More than 500 hours of student learning materials across the tests with practice questions, method lessons, assessments, mock tests and informative videos are there on the platform which facilitates the students learning and practice. This product also provides a solution to a big problem. Students can get the teacher's feedback on speaking and writing assessments. Also, some of its important features include student management system to monitor student attendance and performance, live class scheduling to schedule live classes for online or in-classroom training, effective inbuilt messaging system to communicate through messages to students and teachers. Live class recording is also available for students to view missed live classes for revision purposes. I am sure this product would be a game changer when it comes to English exam preparation because it empowers teachers, students and administrators to achieve their coveted goals with ease. Alright, now let's talk to all those people who want to come to Canada to pursue their higher education, all those international students. So if you want to come and study in an SDS college, let me clarify one doubt once and for all that 
IELTS General and IELTS Academic are both accepted. So please clarify this doubt once and forever that both the forms of IELTS are actually accepted if you're coming for an SDS college. Okay, now let's talk about the different alternatives for IELTS that are available in place for various Canadian universities and colleges. All right, the first one in the list is CAEL. Over 180 universities and colleges in Canada accept the test results from this test. And the test results are available actually within eight days. The next one is CAE or Cambridge Assessment English. Over 200 universities and colleges across Canada accept the test results from this. However, the drawback here is that the test results are available in two to three weeks time for computer-based test and four to six weeks for paper-based test. The next one on the list is Duolingo English test. Now, it's being accepted by over 140 Canadian universities and colleges. It has recently been introduced and the good part is that it finishes in one hour and you can get the results within two days. Moving over to the next one which is PTE, a very famous one. Now this PTE is being conducted by Pearson and 90% of Canadian universities and colleges accept it. You get the result within two days. Okay, talking about the next one which is TOEFL. Probably the most famous of all of these tests. It's being accepted by almost all the Canadian colleges and universities and the test results are available within 6 to 10 days. There's one more option here, TOEFL IBT which is internet based test. So if you're interested you can also go for this internet based test as well. So there are plenty of options available for all the international students but you must make sure that the college or the university you're actually applying for accepts which all test. It depends from one university from one college to the other. All right now from Canada moving over to all those people who are interested in moving to Australia as a permanent resident. Unlike Canada who's only two options for English, IELTS and CELPIP you have plenty of options available if you want to immigrate to Australia as a permanent resident. Okay, so if you want to immigrate to Australia, then there are plenty of options available. We won't talk about IELTS here. There are four other options. So the first option here is TOEFL IBT. We've talked a little about it. Here this TOEFL IBT is the internet based test of TOEFL. And there's a certain criteria which is required for Australia. They've mentioned it here that you should have at least 24 for listening, 24 for reading. 27 for writing and 23 for speaking. Now the next one is the Pearson test of English Academic or PTE Academic. Mind it, this is the academic version of PTE. So this is what they're talking about. This is the academic version. The criteria for this academic version of PTE is that you should have at least 65 points for each of the four components. Now moving over to the next one, which is OET. Now OET is specifically designed for the healthcare professionals as mentioned here that OET has been developed specifically for 12th healthcare professions tests reflect real workplace tasks and relevant language skills score that is required is at least B for each of the four test components now moving over to the last one is the Cambridge C1 advanced test this is the test that is being mentioned there you can go on to their website and check out details the criteria that is mentioned there is that you should have at least 185 points in each of the four test components. So apart from IELTS, you have four different options if you want to immigrate to Australia. So if you're not very comfortable with IELTS, you can also check these all tests. Some very important points mentioned here is that they're not accepting the TOEFL IBT Special Home Edition, OET at Home and IELTS Indicator. So if you want to immigrate to Australia, do not appear for these tests. Many people have told me that it's the format of IELTS which makes it so difficult to score good bands or good points. So you can try the format of these tests and you never know if you find it easier, if it's easier to score, you can definitely score better points and you can fulfill your dream. So thank you guys, that was all the information that I wanted to convey through this video. If you have any feedback, if you have any comments, please let me know in the comment section below. And yes, if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please click the subscribe button because you'll keep getting very important and interesting videos like these in the future as well. Thanks again for watching this video.